early 2004. Teddy, come to my room after class. Yes, madam. But what happened? You caused a serious trouble. W-H-A-T. Oh, no. Later in teacher's office. Come in. Here I am, madam. What did I do? <laughs> Sorry, kid, but that was just a joke. What do you mean? Well, in the previous math exam, you are the one that got the highest score among the whole school. Congratulations! Oh my god, you really scared me, madam. Ha <laughs> ha I'm sorry, but you did the job well. Go tell your parents to go to school this weekend. A reward is waiting for you. Besides, you and your parents will be praised in front of the whole school. Thank you, madam. I'm so happy right now. Later at Mr. Lincoln's house, Mom, Dad, I have a big surprise for you. Dad, Dad, listen to me. Silence. Can't you see I'm watching the TV? How noisy. I, I. Okay, I'm sorry. Mom, I have a good new for you. Not now. I'm about to cook dinner. Okay. In dinner time. Excuse me, I have a good new for you both. I got the highest score among the whole school in the previous math exam. My teacher was so satisfied with that and she told me to tell you about this. Can you please come to my school this weekend? I'm going to have a big reward and I will be applauded in front of the whole school. Okay, good job, Teddy. But I can't go. I have to handle my business. Neither can I. Have fun with the reward. Now be quiet and finish your meal. I, I got it. Thank you. I'm so sad. A couple of months after that, A.W.W. Welcome to the world, little angel. She is so adorable. Let me hold my daughter, please. Okay. Here. Be careful holding her, please. So after all these years, I finally have a daughter. Oh. Susan. You should have come to us sooner instead of your brother. You don't know how much we expected a daughter. I love you, Susan. What is this baby? What a redundant question. She is your little sister. Treat her well- Yeah, fine. She should be your firstborn, not me, right? Hey, it's not funny mocking people. Get out of here. Six years later. Hey, Teddy, help me with this homework, will ya? Fine, but of care how you speak. That is not a way to ask for your brother's help, understand? Yeah, okay, I understood. Let me see, understand it yet? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Okay, good. Now go back to your room. I need to finish my homework now. Good luck with your exam tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Oh no, I got a D score. Mom and Dad will be so unhappy about this. What should I do now? Aha, uh -huh, I got an idea. I will blame Teddy. They will defend me and punish him for sure. Ha ha ha. Later at home. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hey, Susan, did you do well on the exam? No, I'm sorry. I only got a D. Oh no? How could you get such a low grade? But that was Teddy's fault. I asked for his help, but he denied. Hoo hoo hoo. W-H-A-T. All right, dear. Teddy, come down here. What's the matter, Dad? Why didn't you help her with the lesson? What? I did help her. She said she understood what I told her before leaving my room. Not to mention that I also had my homework to finish. Say no more. This is all your fault. We won't give you breakfast money for two weeks as the punishment, got it? What? This is so unfair. Go back to your room, now. Uro. It's okay, dear. We will hire a tutor for you. I'm sure you can approve this later. Don't worry. Twelve years later, Teddy is now a manager but her sister is still the same even when the Lincoln family is having a debt to pay. Hey, today is time to pay the interest. Yes, sir, I know. I will send you before this afternoon. Remember what you just said, I don't want to mention this again. You have to pay me both principal and interest at the end of the year. That's $50,000. Yes, sir, I got it. Hey, is everything okay? No, it's not good at all. I wish I could help you more, Norman. A few days later. Mom, Dad. What's that, dear? I need another phone and laptop. What? Why? They're having problem or something? No, they still work perfectly. Then why do you want to change them? They have been out of fashion.
permission for more than a year, Dad. Then sorry, dear. I can't accept your request. I'm having some serious problems at my work, but I promise I will buy them for you as soon as possible, okay? No, I want to have them immediately. Mom, please say something to him. I'm sorry, dear, but I'm afraid that's impossible for now. Yeah, that's right. Please wait for a little longer. No. But suddenly, your debt has been paid off. Oh my god, Mr. Wayne said that someone paid for our debt already. Really? Yeah, we're saved now. So that means you will buy what I want right now? Yeah, I will buy you but not now. Hey, stop asking them for unnecessary things. You are 18 now. If you want something then, you better start saving money to buy them instead of nagging our parents. I missed the part where is that your problem? Hey, give me your wallet. For what, dad? Just give it to me, now. Dad, what are you trying to do? I only have $800 to use for two more months. Yes, Dad, I love you. You are the best. Here, I only take $700. You can have the rest. You are now having a job, so it's your responsibility to help us to raise your little sister. Raising, not pampering, Dad. Whatever, stop complaining already. Oh, oh damn it. I can't take it anymore. I don't even know if I am your son or not. What, you insolent kid. How dare you speak to us ungratefully like that? Hey, big bro, you shouldn't speak like that to them. Be quiet, Susan. I'm not talking to you. You have been being pampered the whole time. Do you know how do our parents treat me? I have to work so hard to earn a living. You only know to ask for our money. Fine, if you don't want to live in our house anymore then you can leave. You think we're gonna hold you? Okay, I will leave as your wish. Get, Get out, out of, of here. here. After that, Teddy left the house and started wandering around the street. I can't believe my father could treat me like that. He has been pampering her the whole time, but treats me like a servant. Fine, I will stop caring about them. But unfortunately... <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, damn it. I need to get out of here. Oh no, I can't get up. Am I going to heaven? Later. Oh my god, someone is injured. What? Isn't this Teddy? I must take him to the hospital. At the hospital. Help, please. This is an emergency. Doctor, please help him. Oh my god. Okay, leave him to me. Please call his relatives as soon as possible. Okay, I got it. I must call them here. Come on, pick up the phone. Hello, Mr. Wayne. What's that? You're having a problem, Lincoln. What? I thought you said that someone paid you my debt. It's not about the debt. Come to Center City General Hospital now. Your son is here. He had an accident. Oh, it's not a big deal at all. We forsook him. Whether he lives or not is none of my business. You moron! He was the one who paid your debt. How could you treat your own son badly like that? W-H-A-T? I can't believe it. Come here. I'm not gonna say it again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, what's wrong? Teddy is in the hospital, I gotta go. What? Oh no, I'm coming with you. Let's go. Back to the hospital. Doctor, do you know someone here who is Teddy Lincoln? He is our son. Yes, we're trying to save him. Please wait here. Thank you. Please try your best to save him. I'm begging you. Okay, I understood. A few hours later. Doctor, how is our son? The injury wasn't so bad. He's saved now. Congratulations. Oh, oh my god, god. Thank, thank you. you. He can come home after 10 hours of sleep. And by the way, you should thank the man over there too. Because he was the one that brought him here before it's late. Now excuse me. Oh, Mr. Wayne, we owe you again. Thank you so much for helping him. Yeah, fine. But you said Teddy paid you our debt. What was that? I didn't know how did he find out about that but he came to me and paid me enough. He even told me that to keep this secret from you, but I couldn't continue hiding it. Flashback. Sir, are you Sir Wayne, Mr. Lincoln's creditor? Yes, I am. Who are you? I'm his son. I will pay his debt. This is $50,000. Is this enough yet, sir? Hmm, okay, you can go now. Thank you, sir. But please don't tell my parent about me paying their debt. Why? I have my reasons, sir. Okay. Oh, so it is. 
From now on, you should know how to treat him the right way. Got it? Yes, thank you. We got it, sir. Good. I must go now. The next morning. Oh, where am I? Hey, darling. He woke up. Thank God. Are you all right, son? Mom, Dad, why are you here? What happened to me? You had an accident, but it's okay now. Listen, Teddy. We're really sorry for how we treat you. Mr. Wayne told us everything. Thank you for helping us. Mom, Dad, please don't mention that. I'm your son. That's my responsibility to do so. I don't mind spending money on family, but about Susan, please stop pampering her. You both are spoiling her. Okay, okay we, we got, got it. it. We're going home today. Later at Mr. Lincoln's house. Mom, Dad, where have you been? You promised to take me out to buy the new phone and laptop yesterday, Dad. We were in the hospital. Your brother had an accident. Oh, how nonsense! Why must you care about him? Shut up, you little girl. What, Dad? Why are you screaming at me? Please calm down, Dad. Listen, there is neither a new phone nor a new laptop for you. From now on, we will help you to keep them. You can't use them as you please anymore. You can only use your laptop for three hours per day for legitimate purposes, and you will use this phone. He's right. No, I'm not gonna accept this. Brother, these are your doing, right? Yes. I hate you, you devil brother. Hey, don't speak to him like that. Focus on studying, or you'll never see them again. Fine. I'm sorry, Susan, but I'll help you in learning. Make it into college, and I will buy you the newest iPhone. Deal? Oh my God! Really? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Teddy helped Susan study for four months, and now she had made it into college. Teddy's family is now happier than ever. The end. Guys, y'all, please answer me. OMG, it's 3 a.m. What's happening? OMG, stop it. Why do you wake up us in the middle of the night? Yeah, far. I was sleeping, but then I heard something from the bathroom. I leave the bed to go and watch what was that. Because I was thinking that this is my neighbor's cat. But then I saw someone's silhouette from this bathroom. And then I ran away back to my bed. Then I hide under the blanket and waited for this to end. After a couple of minutes, I took off the blanket to go see if the silhouette was gone. And what happened after? Mia? I think she's pranking us. So that's how you love your friends? Oh my god, stfu and don't start again. Mia? Mia, are you okay? Th what happened? I don't know, but Mia is still in call. Mia, is this a joke? Why do you seem so scared? What the f***? All I wanted to do was play with you. Who? Please come and play with me. Who are you? What the f***? How? There's someone in front of my house. Next morning. Guys? Yeah. I mean, good morning, Mike? I think he's sleeping. I don't think that he would forget about saving Mia today. Hey, Mike. Good morning, guys. Why did you wake up that late? Did you forget about saving Mia? Chill, I didn't sleep after police visited me and told me about laboratory. What laboratory? Did you forget about what happened to me this night? He left the call like Mia too. It was because my internet connection was so slow. Anyways, after Mia left the call, I saw someone staring at me from window. When I looked who was that, I saw a policeman calling me outside. And what happened after? After that, I ran outside to him. But when I come near him, he didn't even try to hear me and he started to telling me about failed lab experiment that gone wrong. And now in the city, there's escaped entity named Silhouette. You mean Mia? Yes. We think Mia is one of who saw this entity. And now we are thinking about saving her life. My father is sleeping, so I can take his car and we can go to her house. But now is 7 o'clock a.m. Why is he not at work? It's weekend, stupid ass. Anyways, I like this plan. Take the car. We both will meet at Peppa Pig Park. Take us there. Rose left the call to get her dad's car keys. I hope my father is still sleeping so I can take the keys. Meanwhile in call. And then she dropped her backpack but she didn't catch it. But why? Because she was dead already. And all this time she was seeing her as a fantasy. What the? Hey guys, 
I'm back. Hey Rose. What were y'all talking about? Oh, we was talking about movie called Fall. Oh, I watched this movie. I cried at the end. Lol. Also Rose, when you leave the call, Nia send us coordinates in our group chat of somewhere. We really don't know. What? Why didn't you say that before we started to talk about movie? Let me look. Sure. Oh, my lord. I know this place. I'll take y'all in park. Be there in 10 minutes. After that, Mike and his friend G went to the park where Rose met them both, and they started drive to this place. What about telling us about this place? And where did you know about they're from? So, this is the place when I first meet Mia. Before the fire happened here, there was a small park where we liked to ride the slides. And after the fire, this place was fully abandoned. So we didn't go there anymore. Oh, but why was a fire there? We still don't know. This was eight years ago. Eight years of that strong friendship. Also, we arrived. They finally reached to this place. Guys, please listen to me. Before we go there, I need to say anything. Huh? What's that? If something happens to one of us, just know that we are all always for each other and will never leave anyone. Oh, that's so cute. Anyways, let's go. That place looks so scary. I agree. Yeah, but I remember there eight years ago. A lot of green trees. Happy people. I see a house there. Where? Behind, Behind you. you. Let's go there. I agree. Let's check this house. I'm feeling so dizzy. Mike. Mike. What? What's happening? What's happened? Why do you seem so scared? No, not, not you. Again. All I wanted to do was play Where's with you. Mia? Please come Please and play, play with your me. Games. Where is Mia? Where the f I'm? I don't know who are you, but stop and leave Mia alone. That sound again. Mike. What the f Mike. 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 Wake up. But I'm already awake. Wait, Rose. He's losing his pulse. That can't be real. Bro, what's happening? Mike, please wake up. Am I dreaming? Wait, I remembered what Mia said me what to do when I have that type of dreams. Mike remembers what Mia said to do when he have that type of dreams. Do you understand what to do? Yes, when I have that type of dreams. All I need to do is stay calm and say out loud your name. Yep. Thanks again for your support. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, no problems, babe. Babe? She loved me, and I didn't even pay attention to it. I hate myself. I need to save Mia. Now, like she said, I need to say out loud her name. Mia, Mia. Mia, I love you too. Oh my god, did I really say that? Yes, you did. Mia, is that you? I wouldn't say that. I mean, not really like you think. Who are you? And what do you mean? Mia. I am her mind. What? I'm Mia's mind and you are in it. How's that possible? Am I dreaming? No, you're not. You died and now your mind entered Mia's mind. And for that, now you can hear everything she thought about you all this time. Unfortunately, a very long time has passed since your death and you can no longer be saved. Is Mia okay? I can't answer to this question. But still, I can help you a little. As a little help from me, I can offer you to show your friends from the side. I mean, let you look at them from above. It will not help me anyways. But okay, at least I'll know if they're alright. But before that, can you explain me how did I entered Maya's mind? And how you can show me them above? I can answer to only one question. Oh, okay then, answer me how did I entered Mia's mind? You said out loud the phrase that she was waiting from you all this time. You mean that I love her too? Are you ready to see your friends for last time? For last? I mean yes. Okay, then let's go. Stop crying. You're right, we tried the best. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh. That's, that's me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What do we do now? We must go inside the house. There will be storm in 30 minutes. Sure. I'm sorry, but time is running out. Where are we going now? We? It's your choice now. Oh. Before you go, I need to say anything then. What's that? I'm really sorry for ignoring you all this time. I am so sad for that. It's too late. Mia will never hear this from you after this much time. Time is over. Goodbye. Mia, I will never forget our first meeting. What's happening? My voice.
Why is my body there? Have you really not forget about our first meeting? Mia, I will never forget about this day. I thought that you would forget about this the next day after that. Babe, I would never. Did you call me babe? Yes. I want you to understand in mind last seconds that I really loved you, but I could not say it. I can help return you to your own body. Did you say that you can save me? Yes, I did. But you said that it's been a long time since my death and... And sadly can't save you. But now your mind opened to me, so I can manage it and help you. But what about you? I need to save you too. Where have you been all this time? Why did we get the coordinates of this place? I'll tell you about this all when we will meet again. Will we see each other again? Yes, it will take a time. If y'all will not go to my house after you wake up. Have you been at home all this time? No, it's a long story. I'll tell you everything when we meet. I warn you right away that your voice that has changed can remain like that for forever. But for now I wish you good luck. Oh my gosh, my head is about to explode. I can't even get up, but, but I need to save Mia. That's better. I need to find Jay and Rose first. Mike. Mike, we are here. Seems like I found them. Mike, oh my gosh, I was thinking that you died. Not only you, Rose. We have no time left. Let's drive to Mia's house. Your voice. Okay, let's go. I have so many questions. Not only you, Jay. I thought you were dead. You mean we thought you were died. Also, we arrived. Okay, let's go. Finally. Oh my gosh. Huh? There are police trying to break inside the Mia's house. We need to stop them. Wait, me. Oh my gosh. Why I can't move. It's happening again. That Don't try to stop them. You are still weak and you will not be able to fight with them. Don't worry, Rose has gun with her. And also I'm all right there when you wake up. Find me in my room. But Mia. Time's up. Wake up. Uh. Mike. Oh my gosh, Mike. Wake up. Guys, I'm so sorry. Are you kidding? It's not your fault. Can we go to Mia now? Yes, let's go. Thank you so much. Haha, <laughs> no problems. Time is going. Mia, maybe we shouldn't trust him? Mia? Mike. Mia. Mia, I'm so sorry for ignoring you all this time. I love you so much, and I don't want to lose you again. The rest of my time, I want to spend with you. And for that, I would like to ask you to marry me. Oh my god, I thought that I would not receive mutual love from you anymore. I think we should get out. Will you marry me? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, my god. Can we enter? Haha, <laughs> yeah. sure. A, B, C, to be an MO squad. A, B, C, cause I'm a A, B, C. A, B, C, three. I'm sorry, but you're a preppy. I'll change. You can't anyway, you're not part of the boys. Shut up. You're not either. Five minutes later. Done. You. Wow. Anyway, now what? We can play Horse Valley. You are you dumb. Not as dumb as you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would- Let's play Ragdoll cause we are hard. Okay. Yay hard. After playing for a while. Hey. Hi. Hiya. Hello. What do you want? Stfu. Ugh. What's your names? Joshua. Hey, Joshua. Ugh. Whatever. My name's Quinn. Max. Lily. You all have good names. Apart from Lily. Bish, please. Thanks, Ig. I agree with her. Tag Yenjidunchk. Mine's Katie. Wait. Katie, my exps. Yuppie. And I'm going to ruin your life. You shouldn't have done what you did, Lily. But that was three years ago. I'm confused. Same.
am not dear old Katie, and me got our lives ruined because of her. I can explain. Do. Okay, so, in year six, Katie decided she was going to drop me for the popular kids. Don't lie. Why? Whatever, I didn't sign up for this. Fine, okay, so, when I was ten, I met Quinn and Katie. We was friends for two years. They told me all their secrets, apart from one day when someone sent a video of Quinn and Katie saying I was a duff and I don't deserve anything thing in life. I told you that wasn't me. It wasn't Quinn, but it was me and Yorks. L.I.A. Why is we are twins after all? A.M. So sorry, Quinn. Tell Joshua what happened. I told everyone her deepest secret. Which is? Queen almost killed someone on propuse. And well, Katie. She, uh. God's sake, just tell me. She is lesbian and did it with the teacher. OMG. SHE was only 56. Lily has a point, though you were only 14. St for you on my side. And she, well, uh. She slept with her stepsis. Okay, so we're still going. And Quinn, well, Quinn didn't really do much. It was that one thing that made her hate me. Well, I'm calling the cops. We are British. Why, well, sorry. It's not okay. Sorry. I'm joking, it's okay. I don't even know you guys like bye. Now he is gone. I hate you guys, and you haven't ruined my life. I never told you any secrets of mine, so you have nothing on me. I still have plenty on you, Katie. So leave before something happens. No. And we all know what I'm capable of. Stfu, I'm not backing out this time. Fine. You give me no choice. I'll get my dad. Wait, isn't he a... Hitman? I'd get rather die that see your rat face. Shut up, you're annoying me. Okay, well, you gonna call daddy. Shut up, I'm calling him now. Look like someone is out of comebacks. Okay, meet me at Underpants Park. Bet. I, I can't. Oh, are you scared? No, it'll be there. Well, where is Katie? I'll text her. Who are you? Max. This yo dad, N.O. Remember Max. Well better had told your parents you love them. Why? Ah. Shush. No I don't wanna die. No Katie is right Quinn. The more we draw attention to ourselves is more chance of him killing us. Okay whatever what do we do? I ain't he doing anything with you, Lily. Not the time to be stubborn. Look, I'm sorry, I take stuff really offensive a lot. I never meant to hurt you, Ig. I just acted out of anger. Okay, it okay, I accept your apology. Okay, so what do we do? Pull out a strand of your hair each. Okay, so now what? We wait. For W-H-A-D. Christmas. No, for Max. He will hurt us or worse. What are you gonna do, k one e -S? No, not someone else's. Like who? Wool is here. You won't see me again cause is gonna K-1-E you guys. Brother. Quinn. Save us now. I can't, I need the money. Save you as and W-I-L-L pay you. Okay. But not Lily. What? That was sick. I guess. Let's get home. Okay, so I should be an actor. I should get out of here. Kinda lucky it only grazed me. A vent. Okay, let me go to my dad's office. Perfect again. Let's go get my happy ending. Who leaves their door open? 
Well, I'm going to key 11 Quinn and her brother and hidden at pages, Katie. Hey, guys. Zombie. Really? I key 11, do you? Oh, sorry. Shut up, Lily knocks Katie out. Sorry won't cut it. What you gonna do, Abbott? Kill you. OMG. Ika am smart. No, not that look behind you. <laughs>